Hello traders, uh, the title of the video is uh, CCI and FS Trader is analyzing USD CHF, the dollar Swiss from uh, more uh, precisely. All right, so here I have here the CCI period 14. Here it is. Uh, hold on a second, I will change the color of my CCI into red so you can all uh, see it on my chart. That's it, that's the CCI uh, period 14. Can you see now? Here it is, okay. We are analyzing the dollar Swiss franc currency pair, all right? So you can see now that the CCI period 14 breaks above the zero level, all right? So when the CCI period 14 is crossing above the zero level is telling us that uh, there is a high chance that the price is also above the moving of the 14 of that uh, specific time frame. I'm on a monthly chart by the way. Uh, one thing I need to say to traders uh, right here you can see that the price is now closing is now above the moving of 14 but that uh, candlestick bar because I'm on a monthly chart is not yet closed so i will wait until this monthly candlestick bar is closed if i want to okay trade the cci on the monthly chart otherwise i have to go to the weekly chart here we are we are going to the weekly chart i'm just waiting for my data here you see that on the weekly chart uh, the cci 14 already breaks above the zero line run away from it and then pull back to retest the zero line, which means the price deviates from the moving at 14. This is it, the deviation from the zero line corresponding to the price deviating from the moving at 14. CCI pulling back to the zero line. In normal condition, the price is pulling back to retest the moving at 14. That's what we see. And the swing trader that are using the weekly chart are already in this trade buying the dollar Swiss front breaks above, retest the now. But it's not finished yet, okay? I'm going to go back again to my monthly chart. So if one is using the CCF 14, all right, very often uh, the crossing of the zero line is corresponding to the increase in the bullish momentum, but most importantly, that the price is crossing, okay? A specific moving average that corresponds to the period of the CCI that we are using. So, if you were using a moving the CCI period 20, right? If the CCI crosses above the zero line, it means that the price is now above the moving average 20. Here we are using the CCI period 14. The crossing of the zero line means that the price is now above the moving average 14. All right. But how do we trade it, all right? So what usually takes place as traders see like this, a lot of traders will just try to buy straight away like this, hoping that everything works well. To avoid trading mistakes, especially when you are using a CCI, you must trade a CCI in conjunction with the three market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel, looking for trading setup, and then one will implement a different time frame trading method after one has identified a trading setup. So looking at the market pattern here, we have a consolidation. Can you see? Dollar Swiss franc consolidating between a level of 10300 and a level of 09522. So there is a consolidation taking place here. How do we trade consolidation? Professional will be looking for an opportunity to sell at the top of the consolidation. They will be looking for an opportunity to buy at the lower part of the consolidation. In all cases, they will use a different time frame trading method. So what is happening here, there are buyers here at the lower part of the consolidation. Who at the time when the stock has, uh, the CCR period 14 was oversold, right? The price was at the lower part of the consolidation. So in this case, CCR is pointed to us, okay, a support level. At the same time, the price is at the lower part of the consolidation. 
We are trading the price, not the CCI. The common central line was broken. Here, yeah, trader implemented a top down to the middle, they are buying. So you can see that if one is buying here because of the consolidation trading method, the ultimate target is the top of the consolidation, but there is a midpoint target here which is at 0988H. Trader who bought it here, you can see that as the prior reaches the midpoint target, they are taking profit. That's why we have this tendency bar here coming down. Can you see? All right. Now, by the way, a trader sent me email uh, yesterday saying that, George, you are not talking to yourself. I'm listening <laughs> and I understand everything. So sometimes I say, oh, am I talking to myself? So they say, all right, we are, you are not talking to yourself. <laughs> I like that, okay? Okay, here you see. So there, there is a midpoint target here. People took the first profit. Now we are here. So because we are near the media line, so one can buy here. That's the first place to buy. The second place to buy is near the media line here. All right. But as we are here now, this kind of bar is not yet closed on the monthly chart. All right. There is also this uh, blue tray line. You can see this tray line. Follow my curves or this tray line. The price is sitting on the edge of that tray line. So we have what we call a hot spot trading zone here. So CCI is telling that it's looking bullish. All right, the price is also going from the lower part of the consolidation heading to the top. We are also at a place where we can look for an opportunity to buy. So we can take into consideration this uh, bullish trading setup because this common central line is kaput. Does it mean that the price cannot go down? It can go down, it can go back down, okay? So in order to control the risk, very, very important. Very, very important. Let's go to the daily chart to investigate whether there is something there for us or not. So there was see prime went down. Now it's rallying up. We are now near the 50% Fibonacci retracement level of the move from here down to this level here. So you can see as the price came near the zone of 50% Fibonacci retracement level, again Fibonacci traders are also selling here and that's why the price did pull back here. Now it's bouncing up a bit on the daily chart. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the Pitchfork tool, a trading tool that a lot of traders are neglecting, which they shouldn't, by the way, right, on a daily chart, to, to try to find the best place one can look for an opportunity, uh, one can find, okay, a high probability to set up. So this point here, that's the first point. Second point right there. And the third point right here. On the daily chart, we have another pitfall tool here. All right, so the price is coming near. You see, it's coming near the media line of the pitfall tool, which is also corresponding to this resistance here. In the zone of... Uh, one zero zero two five. It is somewhere there. All right. So, as things stand now, you need to be careful because it's already above the media line of that consolidation. It's also coming near the media line of that pitfall tool. So, at this stage, I will go into day trading mode. Try to see whether it will bring it to this resistance here at 10025. And in a normal condition, it will be nice if I want to buy to allow it to pull back again a little bit. So high probability that they may push it all the way to the top here. Okay. Then they pull back. So the best signal for that uh, monthly chart trading setup. Remember that uh, that monthly chart candlestick bar is not yet closed. It will be closed on the 31st of December. But if you do not want to use the monthly chart, you have to drop to the weekly chart or daily chart, as I'm doing here, okay? So first reaction, could can go continue to retest that resistance at 10025. Again, before pulling back and then going up. 
if he breaks a bow that resistant at one, if you want to buy, or you any price pierce through the one zero zero to find this resistance here, he breaks a bow and retest. That will be another place to buy a bow over uh, the one zero zero to five. As you can see, we have started everything using the CCIP of fourteen on the monthly chart. We acknowledge the CCI on the monthly chart telling us that it's looking bullish, all right? But now we spend our time paying attention to the price structure, the market pattern, trading the price itself to make a better trading decision. That's how we can use the CCI for trading the dollar Swiss from. One more thing, if you are a forex trader, you already know, if you watch the series of videos that we call currency correlations, you understand that if one is trading the dollar Swiss from, Okay, if the dollar one will also check the euro dollar, so you cannot trade the dollar Swiss franc without checking the euro dollar. So the dollar Swiss franc is looking bullish here. Talking about currency correlation, we we'll expect the euro to become a little bit bearish, but sometimes that will not be the case. So let's go now and see whether the dollar, the euro dollar, is becoming bearish. It's not. Why? Because you can see that the CCIP of 40 on the monthly chart went into the overbought zone, telling us that the bullish momentum is strengthening. In fact, the euro dollar has broken the resistance 11569. And it's now retesting it here. But you see, it retest the first time, people bought it here. But again, it found a resistance below 11947. So some people sold it down here. If the euro dollar, so what we will see, if you want to buy the dollar Swiss from, we need to watch this level. If the euro breaks below, the euro dollar breaks below the level of 11710 and further resistance, and people start selling it down, which means it breaks below this uh, key level, 11710 and further resistance, people start selling it, uh, we will have a better chance okay, that, they had to, that uh, the dollar Swiss from uh, will continue to go up. So we keep our eyes on the euro dollar as we are also analyzing okay, the dollar as Swiss franc. So this is just a short video talking about CCI and FS Trader is analyzing uh, the dollar as Swiss franc. The market pattern is a consolidation. This is the most important thing because the market pattern will determine the appropriate strategy that we must deploy. So it's heading from here, this lower part, towards the top. We are near the media line. Will the bullish momentum continue? Be aware of the pitchfork tool that we have drawn on the daily chart and take it from there one step at a time. What you are looking for, you are looking for a trading setup. So as and then if you see a trading setup, look for the signal. Let's go to the hourly time frame. What's happening on the hourly time frame? Uh, start drawing line on the hourly time frame. Okay, break that resistance on the hourly time frame. Will it continue to go down all the way on the hourly time frame to retest this level, talking about dollar Swiss franc, uh, before going up? So if you are eager to buy, you can switch to the daily chart, to the hourly time frame, wait for it to pull back to this corner here, all right? And then see whether there is an opportunity to buy, and then implement a top-down trading method uh, to take it from there. Gently, gently, for day trading purposes, because of what we have seen on the daily chart as we place okay, that pitchfork tool on our daily chart. So I hope you have learned something from this tutorial also. And we put into use okay, to improve your CCI FS trading. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video truly, truly useful, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that, George, well, uh, this is another blah, blah, blah. I don't care about your blah, blah, blah. Please mark it down. Uh, that will put us under pressure to improve our next recording. However, if you think this is an essential tutorial that can help other traders, feel free to share it on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, CCI and FS Trader is analyzing the dollar Swiss franc more precisely. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Happy trading to you all 
and I will speak to you soon.